Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. So in this first clip, we have a passenger of a taxi cab who claimed that the taxi driver stole his luggage. So the police were called and they responded. But while the officer was paying attention to the situation involving the taxi driver and the passenger, Karen made a beeline to his squad car and got in. As Karen sped off, fortunately, a good Samaritan driver recognized what was happening and followed Karen until the police could catch up and that's what we're about to see. Once you find out who it is and, and go through that. What? 6 0 Ferndale, a girl just got in 6 0 and took off. She's northbound Woodward. Unfortunately, they don't train you for this type of a situation in the academy, so the best the officer can do is radio in for help and give a description of Karen. A black female walked across Woodward. I was talking to the gentleman at the bus stop. She got in the driver's seat and took off northbound on Woodward. You got a GPS on your truck. Yeah, there's, there's GPS. As the woman just pointed out, most, if not, every police car is fitted with GPS so that way they can track the vehicle and now it just comes down to Karen running out of time. Unbelievable. The good news is, as recklessly as we saw Karen driving through those residential streets, no one got hurt and Karen stopped herself by crashing into a parked car. So as a result of a joyride, Karen was charged with unlawfully driving a vehicle, stealing property worth more than $20,000, which is Grand Theft Auto, and fleeing the police. And for all of this, she received a four-year sentence. Back in May of 2023, the Wausau Police Department in Wisconsin launched an investigation after a 65-year-old man reached out to a Facebook profile that he thought belonged to a 15-year-old boy but was actually being operated by an undercover police officer. In fact, the officer made it clear and it was acknowledged on at least three occasions by male Karen that he believed that he was talking to someone who was half a century younger than he was. Once male Karen indeed confirmed that he was talking to a 15 year old kid, he started to talk about some of his fetishes, which you're gonna learn about. I'm not gonna talk about it, but you're gonna learn about them in the next few minutes. On top of that, male Karen asked the officer posing as a 15 year old boy if he should bring some meth to that fetish party of his. But ultimately, male Karen agreed to meet with the 15 year old imaginary boy at a closed auto shop, which the police set up for their sting operation. Just two days after male Karen first messaged the fake Facebook profile, he was about to walk into an undercover sting operation. I'm ready. I want this window out. 
He saw my message to come in. Let me know if he goes to that door. I gotta duck down. If he goes towards the other door. If he does that, there's potential he sees a squad car. Getting out. Why don't you ask him if he's walking in? My door. Just get him right away, Pete. Go. Hey, how are you? Put that down, please. Put that down, please. Turn around. Put your hands on your back. Put this stuff down. Hands by your back, please. Oh, just relax. One for one, one ninety-five. You're under arrest. Huh? You're under arrest. Okay. Can't look all that place. Oh. Any any person that's gonna poke me or stick me or anything like that? Pardon me? Any any sharp objects on your person? Any weapons? Uh, no. Jack Oh, Jack No problem. So when male Karen walked in, he was carrying a box. It was actually an auto parts box, but in the box there was a bottle of meth and a loaded syringe. I can't wait to see what they find in his car. Maybe I'm good now. We'll see. Back in action. All right, sir. Let me walk out of here, please. Over this car. I'm very fast. Can you put this in the car? I can't. I can't. Um, have a seat, please. Just for driving the match. Sure. I understand it's uncomfortable. You can't Come off. The no, I can't. How long, how long are you going to be on? Not long. Okay. Yep. Ah. Uh, how you do this? Yep. Just lift that other leg up. Uh, this is like, this is very claustrophobic. Can you slide over a little bit more, please? We're not going far. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to make excuses. I know I'm guilty here, but I can't deal with this. I understand. We're just going a few blocks. Okay. Truck obviously had nothing that kit, right? Yeah. You know, syringe and lube and stuff and the thing with PD. Lock up at the shop here. Huh? I want to get the TV. Now the moment of truth. They're about to search Mail Karen's car. Let's see what they find. Jungle juice solvent cleaner. So just take a picture of it. Yeah, I'm guessing those are supposed to be no beads. I just want to make sure there's no dope in there. These are lubed up or a gel. Huh? Hang on just a second. Walk this way in front of the car. Look there right there for a moment. Hmm? Left in here. Stand over here, please. Stand? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take these handcuffs off here. Oh. They will be going back on. Okay, but. Mm -hmm. They will be going back on, but for the time being, I'm going to take them off. Oh, jeez. Okay. Thank you. Have a seat. 
I'm going to read you your constitutional rights. Okay, you're in custody or under arrest. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop the questioning. Do you understand each of these rights that I've explained to you? Yes. So what does that have to do with the math? I, like I said, I don't use this stuff. I'm gay. I significant other. Uh -huh. And one thing led to the next and uh, just wanted to fool around with this person. Who was that person? So let me, let me, let me just tell you right now that I, I know absolutely every single intimate detail yeah. of, of today's events. Yeah, you probably do according to the phone line. Uh, okay. The phone texts. Yep. Yeah. I've read every single one of them. Yep. 100% familiar with what the intention was there. Okay. Um, of my playing around. Yep. Um, sexual acts. You know. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, I'm curious, one, is this the first time that you've done something like this with a, yes. with a minor? I never... Never. Uh, Cause, cause why it went this far, I have no idea. Um, on the internet, you know, what was it a sex drive? Um, knew he was a minor, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Uh, I mean, you had, you had intimate knowledge of what we call boofing, which is anal you know, insertion of methamphetamine via syringe. I've heard of it. I, yes, okay. yes. And you, you described to him yes. how it's done. Yes. Um, suggested it was a safer means of ingestion or, or use. Yes. Walk me through your knowledge base and how you know all that if you're not a user yourself. Correct. So. What would you just say? Walk me through your knowledge base and how you would know all that if you're not a user well, yourself. Well, just from uh, this friend of mine has been telling me about it and a safer way of using it because um, he always does it, you know, in the vein. And I, I always said to him, I said, but, you know, what? I mean, your, ter your terminology used uh, suggested that you're, you're very familiar with methamphetamine. And well, I'm familiar with it, yes. Okay. Just from yeah. hearsay from Joe Bull, you know. Um, okay. Just that I... Would you, would you pass uh, your analysis test today? Oh, yes, definitely, Good. yeah. I have, have it for, for about mm -hmm. years. Um, I ain't scared to take where, it where did you get the methamphetamine from? I don't know the name. I, oh, I don't believe you. Who, who did I who did, ask the question again? Who did you purchase the methamphetamine from? Okay. And don't lie to me. Do I need to answer it? I want you to answer it. Is it going to help me? It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> it's going to show some cooperation on your end. These are significant charges. Okay, huh? you're, you're under arrest for possession with intent to deliver methamphetamine, child enticement, and using a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. Where were you when you bought it? Oh, um, I I met him in I, I guess you know I met him. Where? Oh, where I met him. Um, oh, the last time I met him. Why are you lying about your personal meth habit? I mean, why are you why are you being dishonest about your use? I don't use it. I don't use it. I, I'm not lying about it. I mean, you want to test me or or I do not use it. You just buy it to share? Um, Are you selling it? No. Okay, no. so um, obviously your intention today was to share it. Share, yeah, that's a good word. Yep. But not for myself. But it's it's yours. So you bought it. Who did you buy it from? You said you bought it. From him. But he couldn't afford it. That doesn't make any well, sense. Well, I, I don't know who he got it from. I gave him the money. So he wanted meth. You gave him the money to go get it? Yes. So why do, you, uh, why do you have the meth? This, is, this isn't this is adding up. Help me understand. Why I have it? Yeah. I wasn't going to give it all to him. What are you going to do with it? I would like your consent to search the contents of your cellular phone and make a download and download a copy of your phone. Um, with that, I would, I'll would i be seizing your phone as evidence, but I would like consent to, to search it and download it. Would you consent to me searching your phone? But if I don't? Then I'm going to write a warrant for it. But if I go through it with your consent and well, I one way or another, you're going to get it, right? I, I, I don't. Be honest with me. I won't speak for a judge, um, but I believe that there's sufficient probable cause to write a warrant to search your phone. Go ahead and search it. Okay, what's your passcode? I it's your face. Oh, ah. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a passcode option. Uh, did that work? Yep. Let me ask you, when I go through your phone, is there going to be other individuals that you communicate with about methamphetamine or other underage persons that no. you're communicating about sexual acts? Can you offer any explanation as to why you think things went as far as they did today? I don't know. It never, you know, it, it just, the person was online and uh, chit-chatting back and forth and, you know, it made it sound legit, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess that's how you get hung up in the I guess. Um, why I did or I, no fucking idea. You know, it, it shouldn't have. When I got up this morning, you know, I, was, I thought, 
what in the are you doing? The person admitted they were not of age, and I don't know what the f was thinking. Okay. It wasn't right. <laughs> are you sorry for what you did? Pardon me? Are you sorry for what you did? Oh, I got halfway here and I almost turned around and went back, and I should have. Well, am I sorry I did? Well, yes, definitely. Uh, you are going to be booked in the Marathon County Jail. Uh, you're going to see a judge on Monday. What was your plan when you got to Midas today? Have some fun. Want to expand on that? Uh, Obviously, you have some fetishes, golden shower, feet stuff. Play around. Yeah. Whatever, whatever that other person wanted to do. I guess. And you said this is the first time that you've uh, you've considered or, or gone so far as to meet up with a juvenile. Yes. Never even. Never even would have considered. In a moment, you're going to hear male Karen disclose that he is a school bus driver for all ages. What do you do for a living? Uh, Semi-retired, drive school bus and uh, work at the maintenance sub, you know, 10, 20, 30 hours a week. Not that much down there. How long did you go school bus for? Oh, I did many thousand years ago, but then I went on the road in uh, five years. Four years, five years. Current time you've been driving is about five years, but you did it prior to that. I did it way back when my kids were young, yeah. Right now it's four or five years. What do you think should happen with somebody in your shoes, Jeff? Kicked in the ass. You think that's appropriate punishment? A kick in the ass? Um, you know, listen, I, my past has is, is been excellent. Yeah, I have nothing on my records, I'm nothing. There's nothing wrong with being having a significant other, there's nothing wrong with being gay, there's nothing wrong with having sex with your partner, or... I don't, I don't even care if you're promiscuous. Yeah, but, um... Do you understand the dangers of methamphetamine? Yes, well, do I, the dangers? Yeah, the risks associated with, with methamphetamine, or the addictive qualities of it, or anything like that? No. What do you understand about methamphetamine? What do you think it is? It's a high. It, that's all I know. I don't know the dangers. People die from it. Well, from overdose or anything, right? Have you ever heard of a methamphetamine overdose? Heard of it? Yeah. Yeah, what you happened to me? I kick any ass and uh... <laughs> hopefully it's all comes out of it. I mean, my fear is public now. It is going to be somewhat public, right? Yes. My fear is how many people, other people you've, you've hooked up with in this situation. Yeah. I don't, not a bone in my body believes this is the first time. This, honest to God, this is the, I, uh, I have no reason. Is your cell phone going to tell us a different story? Yes. Oh, uh, no. No. Child No. Nothing. Um, communication with minors? No. Delivery of drugs to other people? Mm -hmm. We do what's called a forensic download of the cell phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they pour through it, every single file. It, it paints a really good picture for us, where you've been, yep. patterns of behavior look like, who you're communicating with, what drug history looks like, what sexual partners look like, all that stuff. Like that's mm -hmm. Cell phones are modern day computers. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, you're going to be transported up to Marathon County Jail under those three different charges that I, I told you. You got to put those cops back on? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't think you're going to go anywhere with our policy when we transport you have to. Can you put them in the front? I can't. Why can't you? Because uh, it's against our agency policy. Can I help you? Yes, please. Wausau, one car, one mail. Okay, come on in. Thank you. Well, as they promised, they did do a forensic search on Mail Karen's phone, and what it revealed were thousands of images of humans with animals in that way that you're thinking. But the good news is there weren't any other underage relationships. However, there are a lot of gross human animal pictures along with a lot of different Google searches. And of course, it comes as absolutely no surprise that male Karen was charged with multiple felonies, including using a computer to facilitate child sex crimes, child enticement, giving and selling drugs to a child, and the possession of methamphetamine. Do you have a license? I think the officer kept it. Stop. I don't have anything on me. I've done told you that. Make sure that. Well, stop driving my crotch. I didn't do anything. Get in the car. I didn't do anything. Get in the car. You're going to get sprayed again. Get Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Back on February 13th of 2023, an officer saw a car driving, but it had expired tabs. So the officer pulled the car over, and as soon as he pulled the car over, 
the female driver got out of the vehicle and started acting really weird. Well, it turns out she's just your run-of-the-mill Karen that you're about to see for yourself. Ma'am, why are you getting out of the car? Okay. And it's just, it's easier this way. Okay. Well, here, let's... Sorry. No. Do <laughs> you have any idea on you? Uh, n not on me, sir. In the car, I do. Okay. So I'm Officer Newman. The reason for I'm stopping you is for the registration. Look, I just got stopped for this the other day. Okay. And, and I, I'm working with the courts. I'm doing community service. I had uh, one judge. I applied for my occupational license. Sorry, I apologize. And um, he wouldn't hear my case. So Judge Enlow is supposed to be hearing my case this week. Where my is all this at? Court in Rust County. Rust. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Um, well, now, do you, do you have ID you, in the car? Yeah. I mean, I can give you all my, my info. I still need it, yeah. Okay. You should be right here Boy, in the back. <laughs> in the back, baby. In the back. Now. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's real good. He knows English. Oh, yes. Dot, dot. She just had puppies. Oh, so did she? Yeah, and I left her at one place, and he abused her. So she's she's not real trusting right now of, of people. I got you. I apologize for that. It's just a little concerning when you pull somebody over and you just instantly hop out of the car. It, 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 it's had people run like that, so I mean. Oh, no. I'm not saying you will. <laughs> no. I'm just saying from now on, I would probably just... I know, I understand the dogs. Just talk through the cracks if you need to. Be like, hey, I got dogs in here. Yeah, it's really hard to hear over them. Yeah. Um. You have a license? I think the officer kept it. In Russ County? Yes, sir. What's your name? <laughs> it's Ashley. I'm on my way to work. Okay. I have a non-profit, you know, with these dogs. I got you. And I... Look, it's, this is just normal traffic stuff, okay? I'm not... We're just here, all right? So, if you want to hang tight right there, okay. right in front of my car. All right. So, whose car is this? Huh? Do you know somebody named Courtney? Courtney. Yeah, who's that's, that? who I, that's who I bought it from. Hang on. Okay. When did you Hang buy on. the car? Uh, last week. Last that's week. Why the, the front end is all off of it and everything. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a work in progress. When I no, first, I understand. When I first bought it, the tire was completely out here like this. I had to replace the control arm. Yeah. And uh, like the hub bearing. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make it, sure that, you know. Yeah, it's got drive. insurance. <laughs> I, no, yeah, I've seen that. I got you. Thank you. She's got a not eligible class C expired in 16 under SR suspension mandatory conviction. She's got an ID card that's been until 26. What about a lint Got two class C warrants out of the city. She's got a misdemeanor A sale to ID fugitive. She hopped out of the car as soon as I pulled her over. She has dogs in there, but. Do we let know? They're going to take on that uh, class A. Simple. Did you hear that? Hook her up for a class A warrant. Uh, and she has a class A warrant. They got verbal on. Alright, ma'am. You should go ahead and put some hands back back, alright? Uh, can I call? Yeah, but we'll let you do that. Hold on. What's the. What, it, what, am, I be, what am I being arrested for? Got a warrant for field ID. No, please. That is. Stop. No, you have to listen to me. No, you do, because it's a, it's a case of mistaken identity. I swear to God, a woman told me why the court clerk is doing that. And it's because her, her daughter wants to date this other girl who's claiming to be Ash. Okay. And her son is black. I don't have any black kids. Okay. So there's a warrant out for you right now, though. 
Please, you have to let me. You have to let. How many dogs Please you got in the don't. car? I've got three dogs in there right now. One of them is a puppy. Okay. They can't be handled by anybody else. Okay. Please, God. Three or two. Three or two. Please, let me call my... Please, let me call Tony. What the phone? Please. This woman... This is so unfair. Look, I was we'll just told about this last week. All right, one step at a time, no, all right? No, this is not okay. Is there anything on you that I need to know about? Sir, could you imagine if somebody had done this to you? Ma'am, okay. You're going to have to take that up with the courts, all right? You have a She's warrant. the court clerk. Turn around. She's the court clerk. Ma'am, turn around. You will not Stop. manhandle me. Stop. Turn. I'm not. Turn around. I'm trying to search you. Will you please get your hands off of me? I do not consent to you to your search. I don't need your consent. Yes, you do. This is a search incident to arrest. You do not, I, I do not consent to your search. Excuse stop. me, sir. Stop. I don't have anything on me. Okay. I've done told you I that. Have to make sure of that. Well, stop grabbing my crotch. He's not grabbing your crotch. Yes, he did. Okay. And my hands are broken from the last officers. Well, all right, let's go back here. I have been in touch with the courts. There's paperwork that I have to file. I have an affidavit. Okay. Please, none of this will be taken care of if you take me to jail. Please. Get in the car. Please, you have to. Please. What can I do? What can I do? There's nothing you can do. You have a warrant. Get in the car. Please don't. Please, I've been pulled over and this warrant hasn't come up. Okay. Ma'am, get in the car. No, please. You have to listen to me. Please. We're not going to have court on the side of the road, okay? Go ahead and hop in. I don't understand. I'm, I'm not. Listen, he's confirming the warrant right now, okay? Please. Get in the car. Please. Get, I'll do. I'll do anything. Get I'm in already the car. doing community service for I, my other people. Listen, tickets. we're not. We're not doing court on the side of the road. It's not up to us. You have to let me call somebody. Okay. Who do you need to call? I need to call who I was just on the phone with. Okay. For what? So they can come get my car and my dogs. We'll figure that out. Go ahead and hop in. No, we cannot figure that out. That is my service dog. Okay, hop in, or else you're gonna we're gonna put you in the car. No, please, you can talk to me. I, I'm, I will once you get in the car. Please. Get in the car. No, because you're gonna shut the door. In my I am face. gonna shut the door, but that's because right now he's that got a, he's got okay. stuff he needs to do. So get in the car. Last chance. What about what I need to do? Last chance. Look, I am sick, sir. Okay, this get in the car. Get in the car. I promise you. So y'all want to be a part of this suit, this lawsuit? What lawsuit? She. I'm not worried about anything. Like I said, I'm not having court on the side of the road. You're not worried about anything? I'm not worried about what you're telling me. Arresting me under a false warrant? Get in the car. Please, you have to understand. Get in the car. No. Okay. No, because I'm afraid of what you'll do to my dogs. Please. Please, stop. I'm afraid of what you'll do to my dogs. Stop. Stop. Please, I stop. I told you multiple Please times. Please don't hurt. Get in the car. Early. This would be way easier if you just get in the car. Last chance. I'm not playing. Get in the car. You just made me miss myself. Get in the car. Go ahead. I told you I'm sick. Get in the car. No. Okay. Please don't do this. Get in the car. Please. Ow! Ow! Let go. Ow! Okay. You just made me miss. Stop. Please. Get in the car. Please stop! This is not okay! Stop it! Stop! You have to hear me! We're gonna play a game. Please don't! Please don't! Please don't! Please don't! Please don't. Please. Last chance! Please don't! Go ahead. I have animal control on the phone. They're asking how many dogs are there exactly? Three. Get in the car. Why did you do that? Get in the car. I'm not hurting you. Y'all are hurting me. There is no friends or family that can come Why would you do that? We're past that point right now. I also need did EMS for decontamination. Get in the car. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Get in the car. I didn't do anything. Get in the car. You're going to get sprayed again. Get Please in. stop. Please stop. Get in the car. Please stop. Get in the car. It's in my eyes. I'm supposed to. Uh, Get in the car. Please stop! Stop! No! Ah! My hands are broken. Stop! Get. Please stop! 
in the car. Man, you're gonna get. Please again. stop! Oh my God! Please! Ah! Ah! Stop! Okay, get in the car. Oh, get in the car. Get in the car. I didn't do anything to deserve this. Stop. Stop. I can't breathe. Get in the car. Get in the car. I can't breathe. Please. Please, it's in my mouth. Get in the I car. I can't breathe. Get in the car. I have asthma. She pissed all over my boots. Please, it burns. Please. Please. Oh my God! Please, please make it stop! Please, help me! Help! Oh my God! Help! I can't breathe. water. Please. Stay in the car. Please, I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out. It burns. Please. Stay still. <laughs> Stay I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out. Please help. I'm not getting out. Please. Can you put this cuffs, please? Please, sir. Please. I gotta wipe my face. Please. I gotta wipe it. Please. Please, sir. Please, sir. I'll do anything. Stay in the car. Yes, sir. Please. I gotta wipe my face. Please. I can't breathe. Oh, God. Please. I gotta wipe it. Just this one. Please. Please. Damn, I'm it hurts. Not, that's all. It hurts. Please. I gotta wipe my face. Please wipe my face. Please. It hurts. I gotta wipe. Hold on. We're seeing if we got wipe. You gotta, uh, ma'am, if you calm down, it'll make you. I easier. can't breathe. I've been sprayed before we've all. Please, I can't breathe. I can't. I can't breathe. Please, take just one off, please. Man, I'm not doing it. Uh, please hold my hand. Please hold my hand. Please hold my hand. It burns my lips. Please. If you call me, please, 
Thank you, I promise. It burns! Please! Get back please, to sir, please, no! No! Man, no! Put your please. foot in the car. It burns! You gotta wipe my face! Alright, get back in the car, okay? Wait, please, it's pouring! It's still pouring in my face! No, wait, please! Man, put your weight no. in the car. Please! I gotta take this hoodie off! Please take the hoodie off! I don't think so. Please, it's too hot! Oh, have it as me, Jack! Ma'am, if you quit yelling, I'm begging you. you'll be able to breathe. I can't breathe. It burns. Please, it burns. Get your please. Back in the car. You gotta wipe my face, please. Stop the I'm asking. Please. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do it now, please. Ah. Stay in the car. Please, Medics please, are helping you. Medics please, are gonna please, wipe you down. Please. Oh my god, it burns! Please, it burns! Why is it burning so bad? I would prefer to keep her in the car. That's why we had to spray her. I'm sorry. <laughs> please take this hoodie off. Cut it off. Please cut it. Please, please cut it, please. My lips are burning. She got out of the car as soon as, as soon as I stopped her. She jumped out. I don't know why. My face is hurt. Please. Oh. 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 Stay in the car. Please, I'm in the car. I'm in the car. Please, I can't breathe. Ah, 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 it hurts so bad. Oh my god. Ah, I'm just gonna wait please, it out. Please, please. It's a waiting help game. Me. Please. Please help. All right. Please, sir. Yeah. We'll, we'll get another one. Please wipe my face. Yeah, they're going to get a clean wipe. I can't. Please. 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 Stay in the car, man. Please, I promise you. They're, get, they're getting another wipe. I'm not a bad person. I swear. Nobody said you were a bad person. You just sprayed me like I was. 
if you wouldn't get in the car. No, sir. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. Yeah. I'm going to be sick. Dapper face in the Oh God. All right, we're gonna dap your face off just a little bit, okay? All right, the best thing to do is you just have to wait it out, okay? No, it hurts. It's uh, burning. And that's what it's supposed to do. You gotta wipe my eyes, please. Uh, if I wipe your eyes, it's gonna make it worse. Uh, if I open my eyes, it's gonna burn into my eyes, please. Right. You're right. Please. Okay. Please. You're please. Right. All right, you're gonna have to calm down because you are acting like this is not making any better. Please. Okay? Please. Stay in I just. What happened to your hand? She cut it with a ring. No, I didn't. Your her hands bleeding. Please, please help me. All right, you're just gonna have to wait it out, okay? It's on fire. No, we keep adding water. It's only gonna react. Can you take my hoodie off, please? I can't no. breathe. No, we can't do that, okay? I feel like my chest is caving in. Right, well, I have asthma. Man, you have to slow your breathing. That's the only thing that's gonna help. You. Right, right, right. 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 Please get out the car. Here, slide over. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, we'll, I'm not we'll turn the air off please. for you, okay? Please. Please. Please help. Please help me. Please don't spray me. Please. Sir, it's in my eyes. Please, sir. My dogs. Please, sir. Please. Please. Please help me get this out of my eyes. Please. Sir. No! I can't! I can't! Oh my eyes! Sir! 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 After all of this, Karen was charged with resisting arrest without violence, so I guess the violence to her own head doesn't count. Back on May 22nd, 2023, the police were called to come out to a Blaine's farm and fleet located in Onalaska, Wisconsin because there was a disturbance happening in the store. The employees let police know that there was a male and a female Karen in the store threatening to punch employees. While en route to the farm and fleet, officers were receiving updates that the male and female Karen were still shouting at employees and were placing merchandise in their cart that they didn't intend to pay for. The good news is both male and female Karen were identified and they realized that both of these individuals have a long history with law enforcement. Just wait till you see how this goes down. Back up! Back up! You're under arrest, Kara. You're under arrest. What for? Get out of here! So employees had been watching male and female Karen because they know that they are shoplifters and knew that their only intention in the store was to steal. But obviously, it's going to be very difficult for the Karen couple to steal while the employees are watching them and this is why they got so upset and why they were threatening physical violence to the employees, which resulted in the police being called. Yeah, there's an issue. What's that? Stand in front of my car. What is the issue? You threatened two employees? No, Stop. Get back here. Get. Take your hand out of your pocket. Hands on the car. What am I doing? Hands on I'm the on car. Arrest? You're detained. For what? Hands on the car. Do you have any weapons on you? No. Hey, you're reaching your pocket. You got brass knuckles. You're threatening to hit people. You got a grinder in there. Yeah. And you got a switchblade on you. Hey, I told you I had freaking rough. Where's the girl you were with? Why? She didn't do anything. She's still with you, so I'm gonna leave her alone. You got anything else on you? Just watch and let me know when she comes out. I'm going to relax. Okay. But you're gonna talk to me. What's going on today? following me around in the store and I asked them to please stop and they wouldn't and, so, and then you started making smart ass comments and that's when I freaking was like dude if you keep following me around I feel threatened I literally said that I got a video recording of him being, uh, being a smart ass and I told him I said I'll just start pressing charges I said I'm gonna freaking open up the case like so, and, and I told him I told him I said quit following me because he's like literally like closer than me and you are right now okay. and I that's when I told him I said dude if you don't get out of the face I'm gonna knuckle dust you okay. I, I admit to that. 
So you were upset because you felt like they were following they you were. because of the way you looked? And yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pro like, they were profiling you. Hell, hell this is the second time. And I, see, I've done nothing. I've never seen. Seen. I know. I've, that makes I've, sense I've, to me. I, have, okay. I've, I apologize. I have a hard time with authorities because I, I was raised on the streets. Okay. So I apologize. See, I've never met you before. Right. Okay, so we're cool, right? But I still need to get your side of the story, boss. I mean, there's a reason that you threatened to punch someone, right? right? Like, and I know it wasn't right, and that's why I started to walk out, because see, they kept following me, and when I, when I feel caged and trapped, I, I tend to lash out. Can you see why I take the yeah. the means that I do when you start walking away, yeah. you put your hand in your pocket, you end up having brass knuckles, a switchblade? Yeah, I found it. Okay. I found it. Who's the familiar with? She's not in any trouble. I'm just curious. Kara. Kara? You guys have no contact or something? Or you guys are good? You guys are straight? You're convicted felon? What are you doing with the knuckle dusters and the switchblade then, man? I've been jumped at school park before. So I keep them as protection. What's going on? You guys need to go inside at all? Yeah, we still gotta go find her. Yeah, if you wanna stay out here with him, he's not really being very cooperative, so I can run inside. You see why that heightens my concern though when your hand goes directly into the pocket that has weapons in it? Okay. I wasn't trying to be at all, right? I have a reason for it. Yeah. They said they're gonna watch for her to come out, but she hasn't yet. Yeah, we can break it down. We can figure this all out. What's your name? Dakota. Dakota. So obviously we got some stuff to figure out, and we'll go from there. So at this point, one officer is staying with male Karen, and the other one is going into the store to talk to the manager and try to find female Karen, who is still in the store. So the girl's wearing a red bandana, white shorts. White shirt and denim shorts, but bright red high top shoes. Bright red, gotcha. Yeah. She is? Yeah, I think so. That's good. What are you guys doing buying all the air pistols? Yeah, for my cousin. For your cousin? Yeah. Big air softer? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah. Okay. Dakota. Yeah, he's definitely going to steal something, so. They were here a couple weeks ago when we talked to them. And yes, and at a minimum, you're not going to be allowed back in the store. Okay. So at this point, the officer is in the automotive section of the store and he sees female Karen running towards the exit with two full bags of stolen merchandise. So he chases after her. There she is. Going up the door. 3-26-23, she's trying to get out the exit door. Here, I'm sitting in my car. Yep, you're detained right now. And so I don't have to put you in handcuffs. Okay. Hey ma'am, how are you? Hey, stop. Stop. She's running. Drop it. Stop. Drop it. Stop. Oh God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Stop. Stop. Baby. Dakota. I stopped. I stopped. Please, I stop. Stop moving. Stop. Please, I stop. Stop. Please, I 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 st
Hey, Kara, because you're detained right now and in handcuffs, I'm going to read you something. Okay? You know, we'll get to that. All right? Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Ken, will be against you, you in court. All right, I'll give you. It's out. I'm going to go there's get some more. Do you have the ice instead of the water? Are you listening to me? Yeah, okay. I know what my money is. So well, I have to read them to you. Okay? So I'm going to start over. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. You cannot afford a lawyer. And when you decide to start answering, do you understand your rights? Yes. Are you willing to answer questions at this time? Yes. Okay. What do you mean when you say he told me to do it? Did Dakota tell you to steal the stuff? Okay. Is that what you guys came here to do today? Was to steal a bunch of merchandise? Are you on probation bond, anything like that right now? I'm on bond, I'm not on probation. What are you guys stealing the stuff for? For drugs? Cash. Cash. So when they called you out on it for stealing the stuff, they were right. And then Dakota threatened to punch them? Who's the employee? Can we have the employee come back here that was threatened? He only threatened the president because of the way he was working at I can send him down here. Send him down here if you can. Thanks for blocking that door as long as you can. You're all good, man. You can only do so much. If you want to ask her any more questions, I'll go get your car and bring her out. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on. <laughs> What's that? I don't want to put it through. You said to rant. What am I supposed to do? Stop. I don't know. You're going to get scared. You're going to get scared and want him back at me. You don't want to decode him at it, you? Oh, it's just starting. I got caught up there. I'm dealing with him, too. Were there items in the purse as well? There's one. There's one thing in there. How did you and him get here? The bus. The bus? You doing okay back there right now? Uh, we got some stuff to deal with with Kara, so sit tight. To go to jail? Why? For resisting? And theft? And your bonds? I didn't go to the I didn't steal anything. I didn't get out of the store. I'm still in the store. Where were you headed? To hell if I don't pray. That's not what I meant. Yep, I, I'll let, if you're cool with me the whole time, I'll let you see him before we go. But you gotta be cool. Don't try to do anything. So after going through Karen's bags and taking the merchandise out, they determined that she tried to steal nearly a thousand dollars worth of merchandise. Part of the job, I guess. Let's turn over to my Okay, which is it? Ooh. I knew it was gonna add up real nice. Oh, walkie stuff? Yeah. Is that the total? The total is $900. I don't steal it. The people are out there that he threatened. Okay. If you want to take him, I'll take her. Do you want any water before we go? No, the ice cream. Ice. Oh, sorry. How do you want? How do you want this to work? Just, I'm just gonna put this. You're in handcuffs. You're not I coming out of handcuffs. I know that. Get it here. Who is? Who did the the male threaten? Good. Hit the spot. Can you guys run me through what was happening? I ran into this guy three weeks ago, doing the same thing back there. Yep. And he went off the handle on me. Put his backpack out of the way, and he heard me say that. And he comes around the corner and he starts dropping F bombs. Perfect. I'm gonna go in front of my squad, I'm gonna search you, and then I'll put you in the back, and we'll head down. You're definitely harassing me and stuff like that. I said, you need some help. Take care. I'm going to search on your breast regions. Back of my hand, okay? Back of my hand only on camera right here. I'm just trying to claw underneath him a little bit more. Then he, he said, how would you like to punch her in the butt? And I said, that would not be a good move. And then he backed up a little bit and went away. And then it escalated again in like 10 minutes with Mitchell yeah. on the middle of the floor. I noticed her over in my department. And I could tell she was kind of sketchy. So I kind of followed her for a little ways back into sporting mode. At one point, yeah, I was waiting at the end of an aisle. He came walking down the aisle. I just asked him if there was anything I could help him with. Where did you get the shoes, Kara? I got it. Try to be up Okay. I'm, I'm going to just look awful new. told me, like, uh, no, be lost if you weren't following me. Go ahead. For suit harassment or whatever, press for yeah. charge on me. We'll just go sit in the back, okay? Yep, I told you we would. Yep, you're going to go in the car. 
and you'll we'll drive up to him. But then I followed him over back to my department over in Hard Lines here, and I called another bigger guy to be over there in the department with me in case anything happened. He saw me again and followed me into one of the aisles, threatening to knock me out. Put your butt in first, then. Do you want the window down as we drive? Okay. If I kept following him, and I just tried to walk away and look back at him, just kept walking. And I tried to keep my distance after that. Kind of tried to stay a little bit more out of sight while keeping an eye on the Cause either of you guys to fear for your safety? I do. <laughs> no, not me. I know what I wanted to do. But I'd say I was nervous that he might have not. come after me if I had not had my other friend there. Back okay. Me up. Either of you guys want to pursue charges? Just to make sure they can't come back. I, I mean, if it would have went fist to cuffs, that's a different thing. She was moving pretty quick. She had about a 40-yard head start on me. He may have our sunglasses on. I'm not sure. If you want. No, they're his Oakley's. If you want to okay. go through, try and figure that out, if you can find it on camera. We're going to be here for a minute, yeah. so. Those are his Oakley's, they're not yours. I'm just having my radio went through. I got your light for your shoulder. Oh, sorry, I took a digger while I accidentally gave her a assist down to the ground. <laughs> once, tell him once he's in cuffs, he can talk to her. I'm going to pull up under the side. Once he gets in handcuffs, we'll put, we'll let you talk to him. He had a bunch of weapons on him, so he goes. Well, uh, he can't have it as a convicted felon. All right, step out of the car. Right now, you're being placed under arrest for carrying a concealed weapon. We're gonna get in touch with probation. And Kira's under arrest for felony retail theft. So, it sounds like you guys know what you guys were coming here to do. If you didn't steal anything, he didn't steal anything. Who stole something? I stole something. He didn't. Okay. Yeah, we'll charge you both. Why? You didn't steal it. So. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have anything and he stole the merch on him at all. Okay. I will talk to that other officer about it. I agree with you. So. Josh, you good if she says something before I take her down? I'll get that window rolled down. Kara, okay, you good? We'll meet him down at the jail. I love you, baby. No, why don't. Okay. Thank you, guys. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me talk to her. Yeah, no problem. Like I said, man, when you're cool with me, I'm going to be cool with you. While in the squad car, on the way to the jail, female Karen allegedly passed out, so the ambulance had to be called, and she had to be taken to the hospital. What's that? Do you feel sick? Do you you're going to faint? If you need medical attention, let me know. 326, she's claiming she just passed out in the back of my squad. If you want to send medical, try stay. Kara? Hey. Sit up. Kara, can you sit up? Kara, sit up. Oh, what happened? Are you okay? I, I, you can't just be bending over. Can, can you lean out the door a little bit at least? Kara, do you want to get out? Yeah. Ah. Oh. What happened? Do you pass out easily? Do you pass out a lot? I've never done that before. Never done that before. Did you use it all today? When did you use? They have first responders coming to check her out. I guess she passed out, but she should be fine. You guys didn't use anything today, did you? No. You guys didn't use meth, heroin, or fentanyl at all? No. Okay. Though I'm not asking to charge you with it. The only reason I'm asking is because if I can tell those guys that it might be an overdose, we could help her more. But if you're saying it's not an overdose, then... Okay. She thinks she's overdosing. She said she used both heroin and meth. She was uh, good until we put her in the squad. Seems to be a kind of a new trend with law yeah. enforcement. What's yeah. up with yeah. people OD in the back of the squad? I know. Really? Was she was, she was, she was, had no issue running through Farmer Fleet. <sighs> don't fall, don't fall, get on the cot. Stand up, Kara. Come on, come on. Back up, back up. Look at that. Kara, move, Kara, move up. Okay, I got the keys uh, done. Nope, nope, nope. I'm surprised you don't, you don't know my name. Once Officer Zumak said it, I remembered it. I've dealt with Kira before, but only one other time. I've never never met you before, though. Well, me and Kara are famous. Yeah, that you guys are. I will admit, I did see it. Five million views. Here's the thing I'll tell you, man. At least with me, it doesn't matter what you've done on YouTube, whatever. As long as you're cool with me, I'm going to be cool with you. Just to let you know, I know you had that grinder on you. I'm not charging you with that. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna, because of how cool you were with me, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna destroy it. You don't have to worry about catching that charge. That trick make it a little better on that wrist? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and just step in front of the car door here. Go ahead and take a seat right there. 
Alright, so clearly you already... Yeah, I know you're mad at him. I know, listen, but you already got the report, so no ask. I have every reason to be... Stop giving your attitude. We'll take you straight care. back. Here. See how much further Seizures, we can get yes, stuff done? that's it. Like that the whole way? Yep. In an interesting twist, while at the jail, Mel Karen admitted to having meth stuffed up his body, you know where. So he had to be taken to the hospital to have it removed. And that, my friends, is gross. Come on, Kara. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. That's it? Yep, sit down. Sit. Um, this was related to Dakota that was just in here. So watch underwear, bra, butt, and all the above. Here, you already know what the process is. And you also know what we're doing. You have to be searched twice and you have to be put to the scanner. I have to pee. I understand that, but we also have to wait and do our process. Please don't put me on myself. Come on. It's been like this for the last five hours. Here, you need to call number. No, I'm going to put your pencil on the floor. Okay, so we have to get through this stuff first. You already know. I have to be so much. Come on. Come on. You don't have anything inside the door. Do you have to pee, dude? Jumping up and down. Thanks. In the end, male Karen was charged with misdemeanor counts of carrying a concealed weapon and carrying a concealed knife and nothing about the drugs, probably because he was cooperative. Female Karen, well, <laughs> she didn't have it so good. She was charged with felony retail theft, intentionally concealed because she had them in the bags, party to a crime, as well as felony bail jumping. But wait, it gets better. Female Karen was also charged with misdemeanor resisting and obstructing an officer and it was also determined that female Karen was out on two open felony bonds because of, you guessed it, theft. But get this, both of these individuals were able to bond out. Male Karen had a $1,000 bond and female Karen had a $500 bond. And what happened? Well, since this incident, female Karen has been arrested three more times. Once for retail theft, her favorite, once for fraudulent use of a credit card, and a third time for bail jumping. Wait, where's my, where's where's my other other I'm outside. I'm outside. What's your problem? Stop it! I'm gonna shut the door. No, I don't want to sit, but I'm not done. Any other units? Back on March 12th of 2022, a woman called the police after spotting an intruder in her home. After racing to the residence, officers approached the front door of the home, uncertain as to what was awaiting them on the other side of the door. But after talking to witnesses, police officers did know that a 28-year-old woman, who we'll call Karen, entered the home without an invitation. But for reasons that I think only Karen knows, she started going through the belongings of the homeowner who had no idea why she was there. But when officers confronted Karen, the situation went sideways, which is what you're about to see. In the house. 10, 12 comp. Where's she at? In the back of the house. She on? She on? Are you not even worried about these? I can't tell you there she is right there. Can you come outside? Search the house. Can you come outside for me? Search the house. Is there a guy in here? There was a guy outside that was with her. Can you come outside for me? Can you search the house? Can you come outside for me? Okay. Come outside and talk to me. What's going on? Who are you here with? Why do you want me to search the house? What are you talking about? Wait, where's my, where's my other shot? Hold on. Hey, come here. Just trying to keep That's your dog? No, this is her. Okay. What? What's going this on? This is not your dog. Come here. Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Come outside. Please come outside. I'm not trying to hurt you. Just come outside. Anyone, give me the channel. Can you come outside? Vegas, come in. Come on. Hey. See your hands. No weapons. What's your problem? Stop it. <laughs> Disregard. She's fighting for the code. I 
got one to tank. I'm 77. What's your puppy's name? What's your puppy's name? What's your dog's name? You want me to think on you? No, what the? Get in the truck. Get in the truck. I just need you to sit down and calm down. Can you tell me what's going on or no? Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on. What is happening? I'm gonna shut the door just to keep you safe. Where's your boyfriend? Here. What is he doing? Why are you here? Is he armed? Did he hurt you? Okay. What is the guy wearing? Did you see him? He had shorts on and a t-shirt. He had a scruffy beard. Okay. Did you see where he went? Uh, no. And okay. She was in my driveway okay. with her. She seemed very scared of him. Okay. And she said, he said, that's my girlfriend. And he goes, and she says, no, it's not. Okay. Can you help me? Can you help me? Okay. No, no, that's the yard guy. Okay. And then. Did you see where he went? I said, get off my property. I said, get out of my yard. And he went down the driveway. And then, I, then I'm sitting here trying to get my dog straight. Okay. And the next thing you know, she just walked barrels right in my garage okay. door. So then I'm trying to deal with her. I have no idea where he went. Okay. And he, she's totally freaked out on me. Well, I started putting the collar on the on the dog. She came after me because what she was it? claiming that was her dog and it's not right. her dog. Did she hit you or anything like that? No. I need to review my camera. She did not, review, she did not hit me. No. Touch you in any no, way? No, no, no. Okay. No. Okay. You have one dog? Three. Three? Is this your dog right here? That is one of my dogs. What's his name? That's Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> Put him in my truck. Just stay right there. No, I don't want to stay in front of that dog. Come on. Come on. You want to call your dog so he can sit with you back here? I don't. I need you to stay in the no, truck. Come here. Why can't they get out? Huh? Why can't they get out? Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. You're not telling me what's going on. So. She's hiding something. Okay. What's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> Maybe he can help us figure out what's going on. What's your boyfriend's name? There you go. Look at that. Hmm? Why? Well, you're safe with us. We're not trying to hurt you. You're not in trouble. We're just we're trying to figure out what's going on. He's in the house. Huh? Okay, what did he do to you? Okay, where do you live? Do you live around here? And your name's Ariel? Ariel or Melanie Saul. Your name, Melanie? Simple. What's your name? I'm just trying to help you. You gotta understand where we're coming from. I don't know who you are. You're in somebody's house. You're upset about something. There could be crimes being committed. We don't know where your boyfriend is. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay? That's where I'm coming from. That's why you're in handcuffs. Okay? That's it. We're going to get you help. Yes. Huh? It's, it's deputy. I'm a deputy. I'm just, Are you? Yes, ma'am, I am. Yes, ma'am. Sworn since 2019. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on at all? I know you're upset. I understand. Open your side. Eyes. Okay, what do I need to open my eyes to? Can you talk to me? Tell me what's going on. There. I don't know. I gotta clear the house. Just look. Here, hang on to this. She's saying just look in the house. Do not okay. hold my dog. Let them go. Bye. Let me back up! Bye. Oh. Here, I'm gonna put this dog in there with her. No, my dog! No, 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 no. It's okay. Please go! It's okay. No! It's okay. You're scaring them. You want to calm down for me? I would never. I would never let them hurt. I would never hurt them. I would never let them run away. I'm keeping them in here for you. You're a fucking liar. Who okay. the fuck are you? Deputy Sheriff Whittington, Las County Sheriff's Office. 
Is Jake your boyfriend? I'm just trying to help. What's your boyfriend's name, huh? You don't know? Okay. Is Ariel your boyfriend's name? No. What's your name? Melanie. Melanie. Okay. Are you married? You're married. Okay. Is Ariel your husband? No. No. Where's your phone at? My phone is dead and it's not even mine. Okay. He's tracking you. Ariel, you want to calm down a little bit more? You're doing great. You're doing good still. You want to calm down? I just want to help you. I swear. I swear. That's all we're worried about is helping you and figuring out what's going on. Nobody's going to hurt you. I wouldn't let anybody hurt you. I know I'm the size of your dogs. I'm very, very I small. But I'd never hurt you. Okay? I just want to know what's going on. Okay? You want to talk to me a little bit? <laughs> uh, okay, I believe you. Okay, I don't. I don't think you're wrong. Okay, I'm not. I've just got to figure about out what about anything about going in this lady's house. I think you're really scared, and something is going on. I believe you. I just want to figure out what's going on so I can help you. The dogs are literally trying to show you. Okay, what are they trying to show me? There's another dog in there that's not her dog. Okay. So you think that the other dog is yours. What is that dog's name? I would do the same thing. If I thought my dog was in somebody's house, I'd go get him. I understand that. Okay. So did you see the dog in the yard and you thought, hey, that's my dog and you went after it? Because I would do the same thing. If I thought that was my puppy, I'd try to go get it. Okay. Where's your boyfriend? Was he, or your Ariel, was he ever here? Was he ever here? He was on the property. He was on the property where you guys, t can you please stop doing that? Why? Because it's a, it's yeah, a Alachia County Sheriff's Office vehicle and any form of destruction is going to be a charge and I don't want you to get in trouble. Okay? Well, yeah, what did that say? Because you can't alter or damage I'm a police car. No, you're not. Oh, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Why you have me back because you wouldn't tell me what's going on. You're in somebody I'm else's house. To tell you. Okay. Well, you went crazy. You went off the wall. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay. I got to worry about her safety, my safety, and then I got to worry about yours. Huh? <laughs> Are you? Do you have. Okay. Let's talk about it. Me too. We all have issues. We all have mental health. What's going on? What's going on? Do you take any medications? Yeah. Okay, what do you take? <laughs> I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help you. Where are you from? We can start, we can talk about anything you want. We can start anywhere you want. No judgment. I, like I said, my priority is keeping her safe, myself safe, trying to figure out what's going on. That's my job. Okay, she's here, I'm here, you're here. My partners are here. We're looking for Ariel or somebody that was with you that's a man, and they're not here. So right now my everyone is here, and that's it. That's all I can control is what's on my scene. I can't control anything else, and I got to go off what you're telling me, huh? Okay. Did he run off? Did he get a ride? What's up? Okay. Did you guys have an argument? Yeah. About what? He knows. He knows what? Very nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Any other units you don't like? Look no. at me. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, sit back. Okay. Then you'll catch a felony. Why do they call you Whittington? You're so stupid. Whittington knows. Very naughty. 
Male subject followed the female subject up to the house, trying to get her under control, sounds like. I'm hey, arm and he still can't take me. Ma'am. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Melanie. Melanie? Melanie? What's going on today, Melanie? Go ahead. What's going on, Melanie? What are you on? So we can tell the doctors to help you. Crack. Just crack? Yeah. You didn't take anything else? Oh, a whole bunch of sh A whole bunch of sh Yeah. Are you going to overdose? Because you're, you're acting really extreme. All I care about is your health. Tell me what you're on. You're not going to catch a charge for the drugs. Reporting. Just let us know what you're on. Do you know? That's what you're on? Okay, who was the guy you were with so we can look look into that? The guy that was here? Do you know his name? Last name? And is that short for Joseph? You were with Joe. He's a white guy with a scruffy beard. Is he the one that uh, touched you in a way you didn't like? Okay, just crack. No other drugs. You said you're on a bunch of stuff. Tell me what you're on. You can't be on all of them, you'd be dead. You're not dead, you're alive. You'd be in a pain in the butt, but you're, you're alive. Come on, tell me. Huh? How do I know that you're being a pain in the butt? Well, the alternative is that I'm not alive either, so either we're both dead or we're both alive. I'm going to go with alive. I don't think so. So, in order to help you, you know you took crack. That's the only one you, you're positive. Okay. Um, do you have any family we can call? That's not a family, that's a type of drug. Actually, it's a generalization for all the drugs. What's your name? <laughs> Melanie what? Huh? More? Molar, like a tooth molar? Okay, Melanie Molar. Hey, we're gonna make sure your dogs are all right, okay? Let me come to the other side. Hey, can we get... Um, Why can't you look at me? Can we get... We're trying to get a hold of your boyfriend so he can get the dogs. Do you recognize me? No, I have no idea who you are. Really? Yes, ma'am. Are you laughing? Do you know how to get a hold of your boyfriend so we can come get your dogs taken care of? You can't look at me? You don't know that? Okay. So whenever she has these episodes, she has a tendency to get aggressive or confrontational, paranoid. Not always, paranoid. Not always aggressive and confrontational, but paranoid. Paranoid. Um, dogs are a trigger, it seems like, maybe. She has a history of being being that way. She well, she's with a dogs. vet school, and so she really cares about dogs. Okay. She she doesn't. Dogs don't trigger her. It's it's this. She, if she thinks they're being abused, because today she thought their dog was her dog, and she was adamant that I'm going into your house. I'm gonna touch you, put my hands on you, to get this yeah, dog. She did it's my she's dog. Not, it's not. She, she's not. Okay. That's why I came in to just stop, try to stop her. She's right. not. She doesn't need to be. But what I'm asking, she has. Whenever she has these episodes, Episode, yes. and it's those just things recently, happen. Just recently, okay. from the moment she's done those ketamine treatment, okay. that's when things started going wrong. She's not dangerous. She's, she, sure. she needs to be in a mental health facility. To and, okay. All right, please get out for me. Go to the sliding glass door. In the end, Karen was charged with multiple felonies, including resisting arrest and battery on an officer. But there was not a drug charge, which means the officer kept his word. I don't want him touching me. Stop. I said I don't want him touching me. Don't want him touching me. Come here. I'm not in favor with you. I don't want you touching me. I really want your hands off of me. Actually, I really want to punch you in the face. On January 8th of 2023, Airport officers were called because a woman had been acting disorderly on a flight and she was kicked off. Specifically, the woman, let's call her Karen, was kicked off because she was yelling, spitting, and swearing at the employees. So when the airport officers arrived, they saw Karen heading towards the bathroom. So they followed her in there and she locked herself in the stall. And that's where we're going to pick up. See you, miss. Miss, you're not free to leave. 
Okay, no you're not. Come here. Alright. Okay. 
Queen just said they're refining dinner, but they want I I was stuck. Did you have anything to eat today? Excuse me, can I can I talk to you about something? Yeah. Woman and woman? Yeah. I'm letting you know. Nonsense. Like it really is. I agree. Yeah, wait, I'm we're talking to you to resolve. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't. I'm not on the plane. I'm not gonna f up their whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, fuck that. But if you if you go over there civilized, maybe you can get I swear to God, be the most civilized person here. Ever okay, well, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. We're gonna be here with you the whole time. That's yeah. fine. This is all we want for you to come out. I swear to God. Do you have your boarding pass? That's yes, Where's your ID? Do you have your ID? Am I? Yes. Get it out for me. I'm going to go to the frontier for you. And you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink today? I'm, I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. But there has to be a reason for them to kick you off the plane. So just be honest. Just be honest. Thanks to me. Yeah, let's just go out here. Just be honest. Hey, did you have anything to drink today? Is that against the law? No, that's why I'm asking. Lawyer? No. I'm going to call a lawyer. For what? Before I ask, answer any more questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Before I answer any eat? questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? Talk to my lawyer about that. Okay. You haven't had anything to eat today? Talk to my lawyer. Do you take medication? Talk to my lawyer. Are you flying? Talk to my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? Talk to my lawyer. Atlanta? Talk to my lawyer. Okay. We can both be Not, ridiculous. They're running people at a deep somewhere. Right, that's okay. fine. That's all. Have the power out. That's fine. It's great. So how we want to spend our Sunday night, right? That's fine. Like, you know, you know damn well it is. Yeah. Yeah. So. We'll just hang tight. I will, I'll be happy to leave. I'm going to go see what they want. Okay, she did. I'll be back. I'll leave from the uh, aircraft. What was she doing? Oh, she, she was good. She was intoxicated. I mean, but did she do anything other than like? How did you? How, were you, how did you tell she was she was intoxicated? I didn't do it. Uh, it was Malik, so he might be able to oh. answer better. Yeah. Malik, what was that lady doing? Oh, um, that y'all had to read the aircraft. Screaming, spitting, cussing, recording everything. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 <laughs> thank you. I got a double clip. I think her damage is going to be clean. Better watch out. You can be all of the time. I know I was. And I'm saying, I'm just, just asking. I'm trying to. I literally, know. because I offended somebody's feelings, does it? Doesn't mean I should get kicked off the flight. No, it doesn't. Look, Karina. Karina, here's the deal, okay? Listen, you, did, listen, you did. You just said we, I kicked you off. We didn't. We are the police. We don't work for the airline. The airline calls us and we come over to a station. Okay, so she's screaming. We have no idea. I'm ready when you're We literally. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to. Okay. I'm arrested? Yes, you're going to be arrested for public intoxication, okay? Take your backpack Seriously? off. Yep, and the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a disturbance. I'm not doing any of that. Wait, wait, wait. No, I want to witness. Take your backpack off. Okay, your it's all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, will you will you I'm calling my dad. I'm calling my dad. No, I'm calling my dad. Yeah, no, calm down. Call your backpack off. Calm down. Call your backpack off. Calm down. Call your backpack off. Call your backpack off. Call your backpack off. Call your backpack off. No, I I was not keeping you streaming anywhere on that plane. No, pull up the finish. No, okay. that's arena. No, just calm down. No, okay. shoot me then. We're not gonna. No, we're not gonna. Get it. Oh, that's it. Oh my God. 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 Oh my Well, you didn't want to talk to us, Karina, so I had to go ask the airline. Okay, so believe whatever they want, like whatever. This is annoying. It's an inconvenience to me. My is your address on your license correct? Uh, call my lawyer about that. Don't touch me. Just don't put it in your bag. Now? Yeah, it's going to I don't want him touching me. 
don't feel comfortable with that. Can you please stop? No, I don't want you touching me at all. You're a liar. Well, I tried to help you just one. No, 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 not you. But you're like, he's a liar. Because he just said something true. I don't want him touching you. Where's your dad? Are you coming with? Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Yeah. Well, he can't help Rhode you here in Texas. Why not? He's all the way in Rhode Island. Why not? I'm a girl, so you have to. Somebody doesn't shut up. They it's that simple. Like, I'm just saying, what the fuck is all this? Okay. No knives, no weapons, no drugs. No, no, no. You take prescription medication? Yeah. For what? ADHD. ADHD. You taking medication today? Should I? No, it's like what? 7 a.m.? I don't, I really don't feel comfortable with him touching me. I'm standing, I'm standing right here. No, I don't, no, I don't want him touching me. I literally, he's on a power play mode. I don't want him touching me. I literally don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want, I, I don't want you touching me. I don't want him touching me. Do I don't want him touching me. I said I don't want him touching me. I don't feel comfortable with him touching me. No, I don't want you touching me. Well, see, that's why he was doing that, because now you're kicking. I, yeah, because he's touched me and I don't want him to. I, you shouldn't have touched a woman if she doesn't want to be touched. Well, right now you're under arrest yeah. and he has that ability. Wow, because I'm under arrest? Okay, f you. Okay, so. F you. So, oh, yeah, I can do whatever the f I want to do. Let's see what cops is. Let's see what cops is. Karina. I don't want him touching me. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. I feel like it was like. He's just holding your leg. No, wait, no, the fact that I wasn't even arrested, I feel like I'm not, like, like, it wasn't in the right. If I felt like it was in the right, it would be understandable, but I already feel uncomfortable about that. Because that wasn't the fact that he's fing holding me like this. It's not okay. How would you feel? Your, it's your, da your dad's a police officer. How the right? f would you feel? Your dad's a police not officer. How would you feel? Not Manson, your dad's a police I'm officer. How would you feel? I would feel comfortable because I trust you. Yeah, you feel comfortable? If he's just yeah. touching my leg? No, he's touching my f***ing ass with his leg. Your Take your foot. feet off of it. That's, That's not my foot. It is. What's up f***ing touching it? Hey, Karina. You promised to be here. We'll let you stand back up. You want to but stand I need you to say that you're not going to kick my officers, okay? Yes, Daddy. I promise. Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Okay, uh, this is what this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. Yes, Daddy. No, no, it's what he's doing. It's what he's doing essentially. What he's doing? You can discover world class art at the Kilwark Museum or swing by Sunday Square to enjoy a wide array of contemporary What's that? You can also visit the stockyards for two minutes. Alright, Karina, can you walk for us? I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you. I seriously don't. No, I don't want to touch you. Korea! Korea! I don't want to touch you. Why? Okay, so I don't want to touch you. Stop. I said I don't want to touch you. What don't you understand? What don't you understand? Do not kick the officer. Do not kick an officer. Okay, so I have female officers that squirt me like ass. That's a simple Do not point. kick an officer. Okay, I don't want to touch me. Do you understand? Do no, he touched me inappropriately. Do you understand? No, he touched don't. Me. I don't. Is she here? Call my lawyer. Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer. He touched me inappropriately. I don't want him to touch me yet. You're touching me on my ass. You're not touching yet. my ass right now. Get. No. Bro. Do not kick an officer. No, I don't give a f. Get my lawyer. Get my lawyer right here. now. I don't want him touching me inappropriately. Not yet. Okay, yeah, keep it Okay. Oh, so fine. Ready? Yep. Karina, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Alright, how are you? I'm going to the camera. That's okay. Go to the left. Oh. Okay. Um, y'all need to tell me where we're at. Y'all need to tell me where. Because I don't feel comfortable being around y'all without my lawyer knowing where I'm at. Come over.
Come over here right now. Come over here. Arivia lawyer. That's my lawyer. My general lawyer. You need to call him right now. I don't feel comfortable without you calling him. Call my lawyer. You call my, my lawyer. No. Bro. Stand up. Karina, stand up. We're done being nice. You already came nice. You already kicked him twice. Yeah, I don't want to touch him. Yeah, they're so great because he was touching me. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. We saw the whole thing. Oh, yeah, I should have been. You want to hold him to sit? Yeah. Get back. Yeah. Wait, no. Give me my phone. Uh-uh. You get your phone when you get there. No, 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 give me my phone. You get your phone when you get there. I'm going to hold it. Step into the car. No. Do not. Call my dad. Get in step the into the car. No, I'm not going to hold it. Get in the car. Yeah. No, call my lawyers. Call my lawyers first. Karina, step your. <laughs> <laughs> really? You better keep an eye on me. If I die tonight, that's in your conscience for this life. This is who you work with. I swear. Uh, See if you can uh, ratchet that part down there. Wait, what? Yeah. I remember my first beer, bro. This. No, I'd rather you go with me. Hey, why don't you go with me, babe? Babe, hey, can you please go with me? I feel safer with you. Hey, can you go with me? Hey, the girl that was just about to get in, can you go with me, please? I feel safer with you. All right, Karina, so we're gonna come in here, okay? No. Yeah, you're gonna get out the car for me so we can search you inside. And then you'll be able to call your father, all right? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. That's not, he's in the FBI, not the police department. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that's besides the point. So yeah, so you really want that to happen? Really? You can that's make phone calls in here. I don't need a phone call. I don't need I don't need to talk to anybody where I'm at. They always know that. Okay. Well let's go. That's on you. Okay. You see you are? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Mm. Think about that for me. Do what? I said think about that for me. Mm -hmm. Sure? Karina, yeah. come on. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be interest. No. And it's either you getting out of the car on your own or we're gonna have to help you get out of the car. Yeah. It's not your best interest, that's what you mean. Karina. I'm just letting you know from what I'm telling you what's in your best interest for your career. To, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how about this? It's just that. Go shoot me the f***ing face, too. I ain't going to assist me. Karina. Don't, don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I don't Karina. want you to touch me. Oh, oh, get me. Get me. No, I'm going to get in such a danger. Get me. me. I don't want to f***ing touch me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Don't touch me. I don't want her touching me. I have no issue being detained. Okay. I don't want her detaining me. Stop watching me. Okay, we're gonna have to touch you one more time. Against the wall. This is like the most ways of the taxpayer's money. Can you check the inner pocket? Yeah, her jacket, yeah. I'm not answering any questions. Okay, well, you're not giving them to you. I don't really give a It's a vacation. It's free, right? You're not going to build me Yeah, Hey, that's cheaper than my apartment. Let's go. I can see you all. Aren't you cute girls? What? I mean, it's all up to me. I think I'm better. I love you, Mama Sol. Get the wrong one. Okay, can you go play your ad before? No, I'm not answering anything. You're not going to answer anything? Mm -hmm. You're not going to answer anything? Mm -hmm. So you're just going to stay here longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to step back there for me. All right. And look at the the blue side there. That's what I'm going to do. She's going to tell you when. I'm going to look at anything you said. It's okay. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Come on. Take a picture, go. Okay, come on. Come with me.
We love it, Sasha. Yeah, I think I'm okay. You're gonna be okay. Sorry. Just walk. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. You're gonna be fine. That's right. Okay. 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 Get your shoes, your socks off. You're gonna put these on, okay? Okay. She's getting my hands off. I got it. I'm like team player, bro. Okay. 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 It's actually kind of cutting my wrist. Okay. I understand. Okay. I need to have to take your shoes and your socks off. Sure. I actually would like your fingerprints on everything. So I just need to take it. Off. No, I didn't do it. No, I didn't. I'm not gonna do it. Well, you have to. No, I don't feel safe here. You I'm not gonna be safe. I promise you. I'm not safe. taking my shoes off. Or my socks off. There's gonna be no fingerprints on me. I'm telling you right here. Give me that. You're gonna put those on. Keep it down. Not touching anything. You can put this on, okay? Keep it dry. Can I take your jacket off with me? Karina, can you take it off? Not touching anything. Karina, so Karina. You're gonna be okay. Just follow the rules. The quickie. Oh, the rules look the quickie. at me. Yeah, look at my face. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look. No. Take your jacket no. Off. Look, you take it off. I said no. I said no. I would bring it out. No, I'm not safe with you. You would be. You would be. I said no. I said no. You need to I, said no. Off, okay? I don't feel safe. I'm not touching anything. I don't trust any of you. You don't need to touch. I don't trust any of you because I didn't do anything wrong. If y'all wanted to talk about something, I'm an adult. We can have a conversation about it. The fact that I'm here right now, I don't trust anybody. So no, I'm on the defense. So no, I'm not putting my fingerprints. On anything. Okay, but you're gonna keep something. I'm not doing it. So do what you have to do. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. We will have to leave as soon as possible. No, cut it off. I'm not done. I'm not done. You will leave. Cut it off. No, let them cut it off. Let them cut it off. Let them cut it off. Come here. We're done playing. I'm stupid. Yes, sir. Come here, though. Right, because I was a game. I was a game. Take your other shirt off. Lift your arms up. I swear to you, I know you're gonna get this tooth of for being sexually. Yeah, come down, okay? Okay, that's cool. Alright, so it says tits. No, get a picture off. Get a picture off. So it says tits. Because it says tits. I don't know what it says. Racist ass mom. It is racist. Yeah, it is racist. Just because it says tits. Yeah, it's racist. That's racist, though. Yeah, stuff. Why, right, because it's rainbow? Yeah, you're fixing it. No, 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 no. Who cares that it's rainbow? You're taking it back, okay? Nah, y'all are f***ing. You will take it back. Third. Stand up. 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 This is not going to go anywhere. That's my charge. It's not going to go anywhere. That's my charge. I asked what my charge is. I have the right to know my charge. Public intoxication? No. Yes. I disagree. No, I'm reading. A football piece officer? Yes, Addy. What do you think that's going to do? Just don't know. Like, really? Come on, seriously? No, it's not. This is not. I've been doing hey, procedures. It's just not put a procedure. Just put the finger right there. It's not. Just put.
I'm just not doing it. Just put your finger there. No. It's okay. I mean, there's I'm cameras not. everywhere, so I mean, you're safe. I know, my GPS is here. I'm not safe with you. I don't want you touching me. I really want your hands off of me. Actually, I really want to punch you in the face. You're gonna okay. And you can shoot me after that. So you want, I really want your hands off of me. I want her hands off of me. I don't yeah. want somebody touching me. Give me a hand. hand. You're not too hurry. Okay. You're just going to pretend the cell phone app. That's all right. Okay. Oh, you got me? That's so comforting. That's so great for me. Okay, come on. Let's go. Well, ultimately, Karen, as you saw, was arrested and she was charged with resisting arrest without violence, and I don't know how that is possible, assault of a public servant, and, of course, public intoxication. <laughs>